This is Brendan Appel with Sons of Speed. I'm here with Todd Christensen, who is the Camaro and the Corvette marketing manager. And we're going to talk about the new 1LE package that was introduced for both the ISS and the V6 Camaro today. Right. If you could tell us a little bit more about that. Our, our listeners and our viewers want to usually get these cars out on track. The yep. 1LE from the previous generation Camaro was a fantastic track attack machine. Absolutely. I know I have a Corvette and I kept getting chased down by 1LE Camaros, <laughs> much to my chagrin. Yeah. So could you tell us what's going into the package and um, a little bit more about what's included? Absolutely. You know, the easiest way to do this is if you think of the LT, the V6 1LE package, that's like taking all the good stuff from the current SS down. So it's got the SS brakes, SS suspension, the SS size um, wheels and tires. So it's bringing all that performance down to the V6. It raises that up a notch. When we move to the V8 1LE, we're going up one more level than that. So this is all brand new suspension, um, unique tuning for the MR, the magnetic ride suspension, larger wheels and tires, 295s, 305s, six piston brakes in the front, um, electronic limited slip differential. So that's new for this and pretty unique for our class of vehicle. Um, so all completely tuned uh, for each car. All the chassis are tuned specific to those models to really, as you said, take, uh, take basically take where the uh, fifth gen left off. Track capable for the guy who wants to get out there and be serious. Are most of the performance parts, especially in the SS, coming off the Camaro? For example, the limited slip differential and the magnetic ride, are those basically being pulled out of the Corvette parts bin? Well, the, you know, the good news is we have such a great, you know, portfolio of performance cars. It's good to pick and choose and build technologies. Is it the same exact differential? No, but that same technology that we've used in Stingray is being adopted here. The magnetic ride is already an option on the 2016 SS Camaro, so it's been obviously, you know, introduced into this as well as a standard feature. And is it any different than the standard or the optional SS magnetic ride suspension? It is. I mean, this whole package is tuned specific for this. So the springs, the bushings, the stabilizer bars are all unique. So the MR is tuned specific for it. And the cool thing is, because it has electronic limited slip, you know, the MR and the limited slip are talking to one another. So they act as, you know, sort of a companionship. Uh, driving modes, are they going to be like the Corvette, where you've got the five driving modes? We have four, yep. So we have snow and ice. Um, tour, sport, and then track. And within track, are you going to be able to have, is there a performance traction management system? We don't have performance traction management in this, but you do get a competition mode that does, you know, allow you a certain amount of slip in, you know, lateral Gs and things like that. And how much are we talking about for a package like that on both of these cars? We haven't introduced pricing yet, but I can tell you these will be some of the most affordable cars with this kind of content out there. And are there any limitations? Uh, can you get a fully loaded car with all of the uh, 1LE stuff on it, or do you have to forego certain creature comforts? Yeah, good question. On a V6, uh, available just about with anything. You get on the level 1 or the level 2. On the, um, on the SS, we're restricting it to the 1SS only. The whole point is we're trying to make a lightweight car, so we didn't really think that the buyer would want, you know, a lot of the electronic things that would weigh it down, you know, like heated seats and heated steering wheel and some of that. But it still has head-up display. It still has all the navigation system capabilities. It's got all the stuff that you really need, just, you know, some of the creature comforts that we don't think probably would be a good fit for the track car. Yeah, if you need a heated seat, you shouldn't be on the track. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Now, visually, you've got the matte hood. Is that uh, going to be the only standard giveaway that you're in a 1LE, or I see brake calipers have the 1LE Yeah, on I mean, them. this is pretty much it. So, as you pointed out, the, the most noticeable feature is the matte hood, also the matte front splitter and the, and the, um, the rear spoiler. These are unique wheels to the 1LE, and then, of course, the, the markings on the brakes. Have you done any track testing to see how much faster this gets around than a standard SS? There's been some track testing done. Um, I will, here's what I can tell you. This is certainly faster than the outgoing 5th gen, and in fact, the LT version of the 6th gen is right on top of where the old 5th gen V8 was. So the 6 is running just where the 8 used Pretty to be. Pretty close, yeah, in terms of lap time. So we have a lot of high hopes for what these things are capable of. Now, right now, this will be the most track-capable Camaro that you can buy in 2016, but we know from past experience you've got the, uh, the, uh, 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 the higher end of the range for Camaro. So you had um, the... Oh, the ZL1? The ZL1. Yeah, everybody wants to know, is there a yeah, ZL1? Yeah, is there going to be a ZL1 yeah. and, uh, and also the track uh, monster that, uh, that you had in the last year? Oh, Z28. Z28. Yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing to announce at this point in time. I mean, like you said, there's always news coming out of Camaro, so stay tuned, but nothing I can report today. Very good. Now, as far as 
Corvette goes. Um, we have heard the two colors that might be leaving us are shark gray and uh, Laguna blue. That's correct. Yeah, the end of the model year. Any reason particularly for those two colors? You know, it's just uh, it's how our, the, the color studio thinks that our colors will evolve and trying to bring in new. So those will be backfilled with some new colors and just trying to keep things fresh. We do this all the time, cycle in colors in and out to keep up with the trends. And what, the, what are those two new colors? Uh, we have not announced those new colors yet, but you'll see, you'll see similar families. So grays and blues, just updated ones, yeah. Okay, now the best color that was on the seventh generation Corvette that you got rid of right away was cyber gray metallic replaced by the shark gray, which is now going away. I don't think it, it was received as well as cyber gray was. It's still a high runner, though, actually, believe it or not. There, like you said, there were some people that were a little frustrated, but... Um, Me shark being gray one of them. High, yeah, was, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, shark gray still was a high runner, though, for sure. Uh, are we going to see something more like the cyber gray metallic maybe replacing it? You know, um, I'm trying to think. Y you, will see, you will see another gray and another blue in the portfolio. I'll tell you that much. Very good. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell, more, tell you more about 17 model year. Um, changes probably in April on Corvette. Yeah, with the uh, the bash over. You got it. it. That's exactly. You know, you know our history. I can't get any answers out of you guys prior <laughs> to the bash. Is there anything else you can tell us about what's coming in seventeen for Corvette? Um, you know, not nothing I can tell you right now. I mean, there there are some things coming that I think people will be pleased about, but we have to wait a little time before we can divulge that. Thank you very much, Mr. Christensen. Yeah, thank you, Brendan Appel with Sons of Speed.